Good Friday and welcome to the Protagonia God Knows News. I'm your host reporting live from a burning kitchen. Scenes like this are becoming ever present as citizens grapple with living in a world without ovens. The situation is so dire that even in the hot hot country of Margaret, people are struggling to cook their dinner. But what is our hero doing about this? In an interesting update, we have been sent some exclusive footage of her bodyguard Pamela Anderson performing some kind of ritual in the streets of New Leicester. Hey Cloudface. You're fat. And nobody likes you. Welcome to my new office, especially for apocalypse plans. This looks like a hospital reception, that's because it is. You say Molly, I realized something, like a hospital, our priority is patience. How much money did you spend to make that pun? Ha, huh, pun, you see this is why I like you, you always. Wait, what pun? You turned patience, to patience. That wasn't a pun. Some man just fell on an incredibly well-placed drum kit. You didn't plan that? A hospital's main priority isn't patience. I'm pretty sure hospitals are meant to see people as soon as possible. So that's why we got such a bad score on TripAdvisor. Kashmir people getting annoyed that we are not getting things done, we are not making progress. You should probably forget about patience and think about panicking. Molly don't give me this negativity, come on, I work at a hospital now, my priority is patience. Why are you working at a hospital? Somebody's got to pay for the tea boy. You hired a tea boy? He knows a lot about apocalypses. Look. Did you know that during an apocalypse? you're 96% more likely to die. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Ooh, baby, yes. I mean... No? Try again. We should fire the tea boy? Please, no, I need this job, I have a wife and family. Third time lucky. The following advert is brought to you by the hero of Earth, Kashmir Brunker. Hi there children, Brian and senior citizens. I'm a real doctor, with real qualifications and medical college stuff. Ha ha. That's right, I can't spell. Are you scared of the upcoming apocalypse? Yes, I am. I am. Ha, huh, that's right. We're in a real pickle, aren't we children? <laughs> Brian, drink your milk. Did you know that during an apocalypse, you're 96% more likely to die? Aww. But don't worry. With Hash Molly's new anti-apocalypse cream, you'll live forever. Or at least until that sudden heart attack you thought was just indigestion. This cream is so good. Even I, Kashmir have used it. And I feel invincible. Kashmir's anti-apocalypse cream. 10 out of 10 customers haven't died in an apocalypse. Pour it all over yourself and cry in the bath. Only available at Lidl. Warning doesn't actually do anything listed on the tin may cause severe burning and existentialism. Well that should keep people distracted for long enough. And we're gonna get so rich. Who knew rebranding butt cream could be so beneficial? Hey! Why did you turn the lights out? Kashmir, that wasn't me. The TV lighted. The TV turned off but... Why can I smell burning and misjudged decisions? Kashmir don't panic but I think the TV has been destroyed. Call Helen and... Kashmir is your hand on my thigh? What? No! Why would I do such a thing? Kashmir. I swear it isn't me. Did you know that Apocalypse is commonly known as the end of the world? Now that's what I call a fun fact, right kids? I love it. 